Water is a key element for life. On Earth, we live surrounded by water, a vital resource that is a defining feature of our planet. But how much do we really understand about the water around us? Where does the water on Earth come from? Where do you find water in space? And what role does it play? In the universe, uh, we are discovering that again, water is, is present a little bit everywhere. Well, water is the molecule associ associated with the process of life, as you know. So this doesn't mean that whenever we find water, there is life there. But uh, understanding better its role and uh, how common it is as a molecule, quote, its support of life is, is I think, a kind of a crucial question. The search for water in space has been quite successful, from traces of ice on Mars to water vapour often being found in our galaxy. For example, using space telescopes to look deep into the universe, a researcher like Tinetti found water vapour on a planet outside our solar system for the first time. It was an important discovery, even though the planet was far too hot to be able to support life. Water has a fundamental role in terms of understanding the, the chemistry of a particular environment. Uh, so it's, 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 it's in a certain sense an indicator uh, of uh, uh, what's going on in terms of planetary science. Looking down from space at the blue planet Earth, you can see plenty of water. This is believed to have come from comets and asteroids hitting the surface soon after the planet's formation. Some of those molecules, or in fact, many of those molecules, are probably more than four billion years old. And uh, they have, of course, been recycled. They have uh, evaporated and condensed back again. They have gone through the whole water cycle on Earth. But uh, a lot of the original water uh, we know is still here. Not all water molecules in a river are identical. About one in 7,000 molecules has a heavier hydrogen atom. This is called heavy water. This heavy water is also found on comets in space, which poses the question of whether we can trace the origins of the water on Earth through the heavy water found on objects like asteroids and comets. So it may be possible to trace part of the Earth's history back to the time when our star was formed by looking at something as seemingly simple as water in space. In order to better understand the process, we can study the areas of the universe where other stars and planets are being born. Fortunately, water in space is easy to spot as it has a very distinctive and strong signature on the infrared spectrum. Space telescopes like ESA's Infrared Space Observatory, ISO, which operated in the 1990s, were used to track that special signature and found that water was abundant in our galaxy. The Herschel Space Observatory, which is due for launch within a year, will be used to study the role of water in much greater detail. Water in general uh, is extremely difficult to observe from the ground because of the water vapor in our atmosphere. And this is why going into space makes all the difference. With its 3.5 meter mirror, Herschel is much more powerful than its predecessors. What we were able to do before at these long wavelengths was like the resolution you have with your bare eye when you look into the sky. And now it's looking like looking through binoculars. That's a big difference. Herschel's powerful instruments will help explore the theory that water vapor plays an important role in regions of space where interstellar clouds of gas and dust are forming new stars. Water is an important coolant of the clouds in which stars are formed. And in fact, it enables clouds to collapse to form new stars. Whether it's in the form of ice, vapor or liquid, water appears to be one of the most abundant and important molecules in the universe, a key piece in the cosmic puzzle. This type of research is on long term can actually bring us a lot of uh, information to understand better our own planet because uh, uh, finally that is probably the most important issue how we were formed, how we evolved, and where, where we will go in the end.